Have you ever wondered how to configure a suit inflation bottle and why you would use one? Well watch this video and you'll be armed with the knowledge and confidence of how to fit one and why we use one. Hi, I'm Andy the Northern Diver and welcome to another episode in this series of scuba diving tutorials where I'll be showing you how to fit a suit inflation bottle to your back plate and harness. If this is your first time here then don't forget to hit the subscribe button below that way you can see all of our other content. At the side of that you'll see this little bell icon. Clicking that will give you a notification every time we post a new video. But if you don't have an account you can't do that. So I've posted a little link just up here which will take you to a video that I've made. It'll take you two minutes to set up your own account. In doing that you can like, comment and subscribe to any video you watch on YouTube. And you can even set up your own channel. So I don't know about anybody else out there but certainly for me I like loads of kit, loads of gadgets and stuff like that. I figured getting a, a, a suit inflation bottle is probably one of the best ways of maintaining the buoyancy control in my suit without affecting what I'm breathing. So the entire setup of these costs you a couple of hundred pounds. There's basically two straps, very much like your cam band that you get on your cylinders. You get a one litre bottle. Notice that the valve handle's on the top rather than pointing out the side. You get a first stage regulator. You also get a little gauge on there so you can just see how much is in it because the last thing you want to do is be getting in empty and you're never going to know without the gauge. It also has an overpressure or overinflation valve. That way if it is going to burst, that will burst first. And then I've added a suit inflation hose or low pressure inflation hose. Same sort of Schrader valve that sits on my suit. And on the retaining bands comes two little fittings that allows you to mount that to your back plate. So if you're diving just a jacket style BCD, this is not for you. So this is aimed more at the technical orientated divers that are diving a backplate, wing and harness setup. So for simplicity during the video, I've stripped down my backplate and harness so the wing and, and no cylinders are on there. So rather than to fit this as one complete, I find it probably easier, first of all, re remove the fittings that go in here and then remove the bottle from the straps. Makes it much less hard work. To, you're not fighting against the weight of it probably want to decide which side of your body you want to have this cylinder on. Well for me I'm going to go with my left hand side just purely because that's what I fancy doing. The eyelet that's been fitted to the retaining strap I'm going to line up with that middle hole there and put through the fixing. So I'm taking a pair of pliers to hold the back one and a screwdriver to tighten the front one. I'm going to do that up now and do the same in the bottom one. As you can see now the cylinder is fitted to my back plate. You can see that the, the first stage is not digging into me. It's not causing me any problem. I can still access the D-ring to put my gauge for my back gas. The hose is nice and neatly rooted straight up to go straight into my dry suit. And it's nice and secure, I'm not going anywhere. And with easy access to the handle, should I need to, turn it on or turn it off. I hope this video has been of some use to you. If it has, please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you do anything similar or different, or if you wear yours on the other side, tell me why you do rather than wearing it on your left. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button below, that way you can see all the other content that we've put out there. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one. See you on Insta.